Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here, I'm Lex. As you could have guessed from today's title, we are doing a full get ready with me today. I'm on my way out to a birthday brunch with some girlfriends and I figured I'd show you guys how I got this look. We go into skincare, hair care, makeup, outfit, accessories, fragrance. If you wanna get ready with me and see how I got this look and see what outfit I picked, then just keep on watching. Before we get started, kindly give this video a big thumbs up Hit the post notification bell so that you're notified every time a new video hits the channel. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps me out a lot. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get ready. So first things first, I'm fresh out of the shower, wearing a little um, cozy collection top from Skims. And I have a bare face, my hair is wet, and I am going to need to work fast because we need to be at brunch by one. I like to use a skin revitalizing essence. I just got out of the shower. Obviously, I take hot showers. I do sometimes, I won't say all the time, I do, when I'm cleansing my face, turn the water over to like a lukewarm or warm when I'm in the shower, but not all the time. So I did take a hot shower today. Steam is kind of like drying my face out so I, and I can feel that. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with the skin revitalizing essence. This is from Monet. For time's sake, I may just be um, like telling you what I'm using and I'll leave everything in the description box below. So I just take a little like Three little um, shakes of this and I will pat my hands together like this and I'll just kind of press this into my skin This is going to hydrate my skin number one um, It's also going to just bring my skin back to life um, And allow it to properly soak up the rest of the products that we'll be using on the face I bring it down to the neck as well. What you do to the face you do to the neck the neck. I'm gonna go in with my uh, Desi Claro Que Si Vitamin C Serum. First shake it up, two pumps, and rub together and the same pat. Pat and press kind of. From here, because we are using vitamin C and going out into the sun, um, I am going to use a sunscreen. Uh, I really love Monet's Sunveil uh, SPF 30 sunscreen. This is a daily mineral high protection sunscreen that does not give me white cast when I wear makeup, which is something that is big for me, okay? I don't wanna take pictures and have flash photography and come out looking like Casper or something. I take one pump of this, a little goes a long way. Rub it into the hands and I will press it everywhere on my face and on my neck. Last but not least, we're gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is what I use for my primer. I absolutely love this stuff. A little goes a long way, so I just have like a little bit on my middle finger and I will rub this into my skin in gentle um, circular motions. So we're ready to um, prep our eyebrows and eyelashes. Um, I'm using Monate's Lash and Brow Enhancing Serum. This has been a game changer for me, you guys. I have not gotten my eyebrows professionally done in over a year. I've just been kind of trimming and tweezing and kind of um, using like a facial razor to shape them. Um, but I can honestly tell you that my lashes have grown insanely longer and thicker and my brows have too. Um, so if you're looking for a product that's going to um, enhance your lashes and brows, without all of the chemicals as this is naturally based it's a vegan formula and it is cruelty free um this is something that i would highly recommend and then you just put some along the little lash line like this then i just take my spruly and just evenly distribute the product along the brows and i'll also kind of just like curl my lashes as well all right so with that I typically do my makeup first and then do my hair, but I've seen so many people say, why do you do your hair, or why do you do your makeup first, why not do your hair first? So I'm gonna see which, what I'm missing. Apparently I'm missing something, I missed the memo, so I'm gonna do my hair first, you guys. Uh, like I mentioned, my hair is damp, I'm fresh out of the shower. Um, and I think I'm just gonna do like a middle part um, and then put my hair up in a bun um, and then just like wear a statement earring or something like that. Um, for this brunch, I am not gonna go all out. I'm gonna just wear, I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. I'm gonna pick that out with you guys. Um, but I, I'm thinking I'm gonna just go a simple route. So first things first, I'm going with my Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth uh, Conditioning Cream. And I use quite a bit of this because I have quite a bit of hair. I've never done my hair sitting down before other than filming the curly to straight routine for you guys, so this is super new for me. 
I like to part my hair roughly into two sections. This is not like an even part or anything like that, but just to make sure that I'm getting um, every piece of my hair. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little more because we need that. Then I'm gonna go in with my, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. You guys have seen me use this in the curl industry. If you haven't, I will um, link the video somewhere up here. Um, but I use this quite generously. Again, this helps with heat protection. It helps with restoring keratin in your hair. Makes your hair soft, manageable, the tangles. It does over, like 10 things like it says. Um, and it's fantastic. So I'm just gonna spray this through my hair. Um, from here, I'm gonna go in with the Money Intense Repair Treatment. Oh, hello, son. Um, this is fantastic. This is kind of like a leave-in conditioner, um, but this also repairs your hair. So I've seen this help restore hair growth for me. Um, I have to change the battery, so you'll see me in a little bit, but um, I'm gonna hurry up and just spray my hair with this. And I focus it more so up here where when I wear my hair up, I feel like there's a lot of tension. So um, I may be prone to some like thinning or hair loss up here. So for preventative measures, I just put this up here. Um, and then I just like work it in and massage it into my scalp. Um, I think I'm done with this, but this is my Mani Restore Leave-In Conditioner for dry, medium to thick hair. I freaking love this stuff. Um, I have another one somewhere or it's coming in the mail. Let me open up and see if we can just get what's on here. Yeah, got about like this much. I think there might be some in here. I might be able to get it if I add liquid to this, but for what we doing, I just need a little bit anyway. So now we're gonna go in and part my hair in the middle. Take a little bit more of this. And again, I've never sat down and done a bun, so this is gonna be so new for me. Also gonna put a little bit of my Monite Flexible Hold Gel. This gel is incredible. It doesn't leave your hair crusty, um, and a little goes a long way, but it literally will keep your hair in place for hours. So I focus some of this like on these areas here, and then of course back in the back. Use this brush to get like a smooth, sleek look. And voila, got me a nice little sleek bun. Um, we're ready to move into the face. All right, so I see some of y'all like lay your hair with like um, an old t-shirt or a scarf and I don't have either right now. So I just put like something of comparable material. It's this headband. So see what it does when you lay your hair down flat. So totally forgot that I had this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I've been wanting to use this, so I'm gonna put a little bit on before we go in with makeup. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this because I heard a little goes a long way. It's insanely thick. Like, this little bit is so thick, like, I don't even know how to explain it to you. It almost feels like a balm. Um, but I heard that when you wear this, um, especially when you're putting on makeup afterwards, that it just changes the game, so. I got this gifted to me, so I'm going to try it out. And oh my gosh, just rubbing it in, you guys, like the moisture is unreal. I like to mix my foundation with Max Strobe Cream. This is like an oldie but goodie. This is like an OG product. This is like an OG product, so I'm gonna shake this up. Um, I'm also going to take my Bare Minerals uh, Original Liquid Mineral Foundation in the shade Neutral Dark 24. Um, and I actually mix foundations right now because my shade is kind of in between like me with a tan and me regular. Um, so I just mix this with the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation in Medium Dark 23. So this is just essentially Medium Dark 23. This is essentially just I think like a shade um, lighter than this one. Um, I put like one pump each on the back of my hand so that I can mix them. And then I also put the strobe cream in here as well. Like literally, literally one little dot. And then I will mix this with my foundation brush, which is damp. And I will just dot it on my face to kind of give like a light. I'll bring you guys in. Like a light but natural.
And then I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge and just uh, blend everything in. From here, we're gonna go in with our concealer. It's the Bare Minerals uh, Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer, shake this up. This is in the shade Tan, and I'm gonna put this on top of the dark because it's gonna give a great under eye. Do the little upside down arrow situation. Ooh, it's a lot. Um, a little goes a long way, and I'm just gonna leave this here while I do my eyebrows. For eyebrows, I go in with my Revlon Color Stay um, brow pencil. It's in the shade dark brown. They came out amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is just secure them with some brow gel. I like my Bare Mineral Strength and Length Serum Infused Brow Gel. Now it's time to blend out our concealer. I love these beauty sponges that kind of have the curve here. Please don't look at how battered up this one is from my nails. Um, but I like how it has this curved um, kind of like end because you literally can press your um, sponge up to your eye and very easily blend out your under eye concealer. I'm gonna go in with my uh, bronzer. You guys know I love a bronze look, or if you don't, you're gonna find out today. This is my Bobbi Brown uh, bronzing powder in the shade Deep Four. Um, this is incredible. I go in and apply this with a angled, it's not really angled, but it's like a powder brush that's kind of, it looks like this, it's from Sephora. So I just swirl it in here, pinch the brush, and I'm gonna And now we're gonna go in with Max um, Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural. I really love this. I'm gonna go in with a powder brush to apply this all over my face. This is a Supreme Finisher br brush, so this works perfectly. Um, just gonna swirl it in here, tap off any excess, and just buff my skin. Now after that, we're gonna go in with our blush. I have just recently started getting back into blush um, again. I used to love blush and then I stopped wearing it. Um, but I've got some really, really pretty shades from Bare Minerals. Um, so this is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush in Mauve Sunrise. It's a really beautiful, healthy, sun-kissed pink, which I love and now I can't apply makeup without it. I take the dual finish blush and contour brush from Bare Minerals and I just tap this in here like so. Tap off any excess and I put this on the apples of my cheeks because I do have pretty defined cheekbones so I'll also kind of bring it up here too just for the heck of it you know why not. Okay perfect nice healthy sun kissed. I'll blend it out again. Um, we're gonna go in with highlighter. I'm just going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. This is a OG staple of mine, especially in the summertime. I'm gonna take my Anastasia A23 brush. Looks like this, this is a highlight brush. Um, and I'm just gonna take some Bare Minerals Dew Mist Setting Spray, spray the brush, dampen it up a bit. And then we're gonna go in with Moonstone. Moonstone is a really, really pretty kind of like peachy bronze almost. 
um, but it complements my skin tone really well, especially with what I'm going to be wearing, I think, accessory-wise. I kind of put that into account. I might actually mix the bronzed as well now that I'm looking at it. Um, I might actually mix this one too with the Moonstone, so let's see, a couple of taps of both, and then we're just going to... apply it where the sun is naturally hitting my face i love doing my makeup in my room um because especially like in the daytime because the sun literally tells you where to put the highlight and where to focus it um so like here and i love how subtle the colors in the anastasia um glow kit are like they're just so natural and perfect for like everyday use um perfect i think this looks really beautiful what do you guys think do you love it i love it um we're gonna go in next with this this little brush here i don't know what the name is but what is this this is a oh a precision shadow brush this is from sephora i'm gonna spray it as well and this is what i use to do my cupid's bow and my nose con and my nose highlight. Um, so first things first, keep it to bow. Super pretty sun-kissed look. Ooh, so pretty. And then I'm gonna just do my nose. And I'm gonna just take a sponge and kind of like diffuse this because you don't want to look too crazy. Ooh, I really like that. Okay, perfect. So then now I just have to do my mascara. Um, I use the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara in black. Um, I'm gonna go in with this one and then I think I'm gonna just like, I want some really dramatic lashes. So the Makeup Revolution Lift and Define 5D Lash Extra Dimension Lash Mascara is bomb for a dramatic lash. Um, so we're gonna do this one first to get all the vitamins and nutrients in a nice natural list. Wow, I'm actually shook. I love how my lashes came out with just this mascara, but I'm, I'm like kind of torn between whether I go in with the makeup revolution. Like, look at them. Do you guys see my lashes right now? Like, that's insane. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck. I don't know. I think I really like how they look. I don't want to mess them up. Like, I like how they look now. They're natural, but they're still like very like popping. I'm gonna just take this and wipe the mascara off. Oh my gosh, this is like beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my uh, KKW Nude Lip Liner in Nude 3 um, and we're just going to line and then I've been really really loving I think the colors in my purse, I don't see it here, I don't see my glosses, hold please, I'll be right back. So I've been really, really loving the following lip combo, this is Cherish by MAC, this is their satin lipstick. Then I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals um, Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm. It's like a combination between a lip balm, so you get all the nutrients and nourishment from this as you would a balm, but you also get that high shine that's not sticky. And this is in the shade Heart. So I'm gonna just take this. Tell me this is not gorgeous. Like, tell me it's not, and I will have to pop you. Natural 2000D with the dark lip liner combo and the nude, and then you've got the pop of like a subtle flex of pink. And I think we are done. I'm gonna just shake up my setting spray. Again, this is the Do Mist by Bare Minerals, and I'm gonna just Very light mist. And 
here we are guys so this is my makeup look what do we think do we like it it's like super subtle but super like hydrated glowy when i go outside i'm gonna be like like the light's just gonna reflect off of my face like, look at this it looks so healthy so natural i really love this look um i'm gonna see what i want to wear and you guys tell me like in the comments like should i have done it up a little bit more or what okay so let's go pick out an outfit okay guys so this is what i'm thinking for outfits so this zara tank it's kind of like a super cute but really simple yet still kind of statement white crop tank um, with these Zara pants and then I'm gonna do like these Bottega dupes these are from Miss Lola I want to say or they may be from Ego um, I wanted to get these shoes as a dupe before purchasing the real thing um, and because these are such a trendy color I was planning on getting like a real Bottega I think these are the stretch sandals um, in like a black or a nude or a color that I'd wear more often in white um, maybe even one of each at some point um, as I build like my staple collection, but I think I'm gonna start off with the black pair first. I wanted to try them out though, cause I never owned a square toe sandal like this before. Um, and I really, really love it. So um, I'm thinking this with like maybe my um, silver Dior bag. What do you guys think? I'm gonna put on this outfit, see what we are getting at and see if this is a go. Guys, don't mind my messy house in the background, but here's what I was thinking. So bag Dior. This is what the fit looks like. You can kind of see my baby abs poking through only because I haven't eaten anything yet. But like, this looks really good. And then I'll show you the shoes. Top, bottom, shoes. Don't mind my hamper, I'm doing laundry. Um, so this is kind of like what I'm thinking. Um, watch, got my watch on. I did lay my baby hairs. Um, but I really like this. It's like super casual, but still like fashionable. We forgot to pick a scent. Um, I'm gonna pick my um, Chanel number no. five low. So it looks like this. This is kind of like rich bitch energy. Like this is what that smells like. And so like when I walk on the street and I wear this, people like literally like, are like who the f like what was that? Like you know like I know a lot of people like like Le Labo. I know a lot of people like the um, Baccarat. Um, but this, I feel like not many people are onto it, so it's like my signature kind of scent. It's still like floral. It's not like the old Chanel Number no. Five. This is kind of like a millennial version of that. Um, I feel like Chanel Number no. Five is like our grandmother's perfume. This is like our our grandmother's granddaughter's, AKA us perfume. So this smells really good. I'm gonna wear this today. Um, I'm also going to show you my sunglasses that I plan on wearing, so hold please. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So yeah, I'm gonna wear these out. Um, I might, I do need to clean them. Um, but I think this is like a whole look. I'm gonna try to get a good photo at brunch, but this is like a whole look. I just feel amazing. This look is fire. Um, and yeah, guys, so that concludes a get ready with me from full hair, skincare, makeup, and outfit, and down to the scent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave in the comments below. Um, what type of videos you want to see if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of these i would be more than happy to make more for you i enjoyed filming this so um you may see more of these on the channel be sure to like comment and subscribe hit the bell for post notifications so that you're notified every time i make a new video and i'll see you guys really soon bye